Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So this video you're about to see on YouTube is a free preview of my course on Timeleaf and the Spring Framework, how they work together. If you like what you see in this series, head over to my website at springframework.guru and you can learn more about the full course. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So I got a quick coding assignment for you just to get your feet wet using the Bootstrap CSS grid system. So what I want you to do is go into Bootstrap, create another row, so a div class row, and then give me another heading H1 of whatever text, another heading of H2, and then down on the next line, I showed you how to use the, the grids and the offset of the colors, or uh, changing the background colors, and what I didn't teach you was Bootstrap, the grid system also has an offset class, so I'm gonna challenge you Go out to the website for Bootstrap, find the offset class, and offset it by three. So do a cal three, so three spaces wide, and offset by three spaces on a full grid of 12. So it's going to be a pretty simple implementation. And then change the background color of the offset grid to a different color so we can see it on there. And add, it, add in some text, a paragraph text saying something like, this is my offset grid. Pretty simple coding assignment. Again, just to review. Create a new row, a heading, heading one, H2, uh, heading two, and then create another row. And in that row, create a, a column tag. And it, within that column, we want to do an offset. And the offset class is something I didn't show you. So you're going to have to Google that, find the bootstrap documentation, and, and use that offset. And on that offset block, change the background color of that div using the, the style attribute. Simple code example, but gives you a little bit of a challenge taking a look at the Bootstrap documentation and getting used to working with the Bootstrap grid system.